ready to go. The VP Racing Fuels making power point. Green lights are on and the sportsmen are green here at Brewerton. Three wide off of turn number two, and that's for position six, seven, and eight right now. As Jessica Power got bounced out of line, Taylor Vanderzan in up there as well. The challenge as a complete lap number one, Nelson Mason and Zach Sabaka occupy the top two spots. So Mason will lead the opening lap with Sabaka using every inch of the top side down the back, stretching it turns three and four. Then it's the 33 machine of Murtaugh, the 92 of Buff, the 6 of Manita, and the 31 of Dolbear. They're all into the mix from about third on back. Number three wide again back there for spots four, five, and six as Cody Manita benefits from that one. He'll pick up two spots around Ryan Dolbear and Richard Murtaugh. Little further back, Tyler Stevenson and Nick Root picking their way through as that is the battle for eighth, ninth, and Jessica Power tenth is, oh, the 0-1 is around in turn number two. That is Zach Buff, brother of Andrew, along with Taylor Dockstadter, Kira Bacchus, and the 399 also involved. That is Nick Gardini out of Brookfield, Connecticut. From our speed camera down here on the front straightaway, and we see Zach Buff just get twisted around. And while wow, Mike Fowler did another Great move to get by that, and he could have been caught up in that one pretty easily, but he stuck through the infield, got by, no harm, no foul. And there is Zach Sabaka in the Sterling Lubricants 38 ride. He will line up on the inside of row number one. Zach going for two in a row here. It has not been done since the late Kyle Inman did it in 2019. Yep, and he's the defending track champion despite not picking up a win this season. Model of consistency, he'd like to break that win with streak here tonight as he'll slide himself through turns one and two and take the lead strongly down the back chute. Zach Sabaka with the lead as he scrambled into turn number three and four. Cody McPherson three wide with Ryan Dolbear and Richard Murtaugh down the front straight away as they head up into turn number one. Woo! McPherson, oh, he clipped the Ute tire in one, goes off-roading, threads the needle back on. Whoa, he merged successfully mid-pack and we got more trouble. Oh, we got everybody stacking it up over there in turn number three and four. We got Uke tires taken out through turn number three. We are still under green, however. Brad Sears, Taylor Vanderzand and running into one another. Just action of plenty here yep. as we click off lap number eight. And now Buff and Manita also applying some pressure on Mason here off of turn number four. Mason with a better drive off that time. Holding on to the runner-up spot. And a turn number three and a four goes the leaders. Sabaka well in control. That battle for second is a pretty good one right now. Nelson Mason has it. Here comes Cody Manita looking for second as they cross the line at lap 12. Yeah, Manita trying to hold on to that number three spot. Andrew Buff looks to his inside. Manita with a head of steam down the back stretch. And it turns three and four, still side by side. Oh, we got a car around. It's the Bruno, number 33. Yellow is out. And Zach Sabaka hammers down, and green means go, and we're underway. Sabaka with the slider. Oh, Nelson Mason had trouble getting going. It's going to cost him not one, but possibly two spots down the back shoot. They're three wide for the number four spot. Look at McPherson. Trying to roll the bottom of the speedway. Trying to pick up two spots in one shot there. Can't quite get it done, though. Richard Murtaugh is going to hold on to the position as they work the back straightaway. Now McPherson finds the fast lane. He'll get on by for the five spot as they head up into turn number three and four. 15 down, 15 to go. Zach Sabaka leads the way. Nelson Mason towards the top three right now, working on Andrew Buff for position. And Mason's going to get it back coming down the front straightaway. McPherson really sliding it in there. You see Buff do the same. Oh, two cars in trouble. The 33 of Murtaugh, the 28 of Stevenson involved. And I think the 06, 17 laps on the board. And we got a stack up. Fowler goes through the infield. Looks like Travis Bruno, he catches an implement tire trying to get through the infield area. He monster trucked that beauty. He certainly did, and that front end does not look healthy on the 33. Single file, it is out. We're underway. 
Brent Senek riding the back bumper of Brett Sears all the way down the front street. As they head off of corner number two and down the back straight away, the uh, Zach Sabaka number 38 machine. Looks like he's figured out that that inside lane is the best way around, at least for now. Cody Manita right there for second. And, and just as I say that, Sabaka goes right back upstairs off of turn number two. And Nelson Mason looked like he had something for the top two there on that last restart. Looked really good off of turn number four, which is where he was struggling at the midpoint of the race right now he looks like he's got that corrected but still tracking Sabaka and Manita the top two in the meantime lap traffic coming into play Kiribakis right there in front of the leaders as Sabaka and Cody Manita right there with him two to go this time by and two more circuits to go here is oh Manita nearly clipped the Ute tire trying to get by Bacchus as the twin sticks in the air, two more circuits around. And Manita, if he's got some magic up his sleeve, he needs to pull it out quickly as he has one lap to do it. One lap left to do it. Adam, final time around the speedway. Zach Sabatka, you said he went winless in 2023. This could be win number one of the season. He's down the back stretch. Absolutely defending track champion. Defense home turf. Zach Sabaka wins the Hurricane Harvey 30. But Sabaka hangs on for the $1,500 victory in the Sterling Lubricant Summer 38. Ladies and gentlemen, let him hear it. Zach Sabaka. Uh, yeah, this thing was this thing was fast all night. Um, I mean, we, we've been having some issues with it, stumbling through the corner. But, uh, I mean, it, it never really cleared out that whole race, so it was kind of tough for me to go well. Um, but... I mean, this this thing handle. I couldn't ask it to handle any better. Just, I I hope we can figure out the stumble problem for uh, tomorrow. Uh, I I knew he was running the bottom. I mean, we run against each other here every week, and he he never really comes off the bottom. So I knew he was there, and I knew there was a pile of bite down uh, in one and two on the bottom. But I mean, my line was kind of like slide through the middle, come out on top, and. When I got to the lap cars and they were pretty much everywhere, I just, I had to just stick to the bottom because I, I had a feeling he was just going to be there.